Today we're going to talk about Ping Trim. This is a new tool in Netscantils Pro, found under the Ping-Graphical tool in the Manual Tools set. The purpose of this tool is to simply ping a target, a single target at a time, as rapidly as possible. Right now we have it set at 100 milliseconds, but it can be as low as 5 milliseconds and depending on your network and your computer, possibly even less. Every ping is recorded in a database, the outgoing ping and the response, and then calculations are made based upon the results that are found. Right now we're going to start ping trend, and as it sends data, you can see this status bar up here. Once the data is complete and we stop it, you'll see a report up here and then you can see the drop packets list by pressing this button and you'll see a graphical representation of the ping down here. So let's go ahead and stop it after it gets to the next set. There we are. It's processing the data. Remember this is all in a database so you can go back later and look at it. So here's your max, average, and median latency your jitter, and this is the actual ping cycle time. So we asked for 100 milliseconds, we got 100.209. We had no dropped packets. If there were dropped packets, they would show up here. You can use your scroll bar down at the bottom, or you can use your mouse wheel to move the graph and see a particular information at a point. So what I did was I placed it right there, and you can see the X value, the time of the ping, and the statistics at that point based on the beginning of the set. If you want, you can change your parameters for the pings right here, a target and an alias. And remember this is a database, a SQLite database, and it gets saved for later review. If you wish to copy the chart or export the chart, you can press these buttons. It exports it in bitmap format or ping format, PNG. You can also copy the chart to your clipboard or you can use the report tool here. What the report tool does, I will slide it over so you can see it. It gives you the same chart but it also gives you a latency histogram so you can see the times that each packet fell into. So in this case most of the packets were in the 2 to 5 millisecond range. A good chunk of them were also in the 5 to 10. Here we see no drop packets and this is sequentially drop packets so this would be two in a row, three in a row, four in a row, or five or more. So we had only 275 pings and this is again the same statistics and you can see information about the database right here. That is the report tool. As with the other tool, you can change your theme as well if you prefer a dark or a light theme. 